at 8.40 and this morning on Eat Smart Today, the rising popularity of the gluten-free diet. Millions of Americans are now trying it, with many celebrities leading the way. Gwyneth's doing it, so is Gaga. Bill Clinton has tried it, and so has Beckham. Whether it's gluten-free or gluten-aware, these days the diet seems to be popping up everywhere. It's the so-called glue that makes dough so stretchy, a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. Many stay away from it because of food sensitivities or allergies. 1% of the population suffers from celiac disease, a digestive disorder caused by an immune reaction to gluten. Yet others simply hope the diet will help them shed some pounds. Then there are those looking to relieve chronic pain, clear up their skin, lose the bloat, and gain some sleep. No matter what the reason, a word barely recognizable only a few years ago has suddenly been heard everywhere. Now the famous South Beach diet has joined the pack, losing the little protein in the hopes of gaining some new followers. And a new addition to a popular diet book is trying to clear up some of the confusion that's out there about gluten. Dr. Arthur Agatson is the author of The South Beach Diet, Gluten Solution. And Madeline Fernstrom needs no introduction. She's today's diet and nutrition editor. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get one thing straight right at the beginning. There is a serious condition called celiac disease. And for those, it's not that they're gluten sensitive. It's, it's, it's almost like an allergy to gluten, correct? Yeah, but one thing to remember with gluten is gluten is a protein that is found uh, that is found in wheat products, and this protein people have a response to. It is all wheat, it is rye, it is barley. And the issue is there's a wide spectrum of response. It, so, so if you have celiac disease, you can't have gluten in any form. There are others yeah. who are sensitive to gluten. See, it, it's like a nut allergy. You can't, you can't have almost any. But a much bigger problem, and today I believe that gluten sensitivity is the most under-recognized underdiagnosed medical condition in our time. And I guarantee you that a lot of your viewers, possibly a majority, have symptoms from headaches, stomach aches, back aches that are due to gluten sensitivity. And the main thing that is so interesting with this plan is that there's no diagnosis for gluten sensitivity. We hear this, what does that mean? It means when you eat wheat or gluten products, you don't feel good. It can be anything from stomach bloating to, to headaches to skin conditions. Even lack of sleep. Even lack of sleep. So and the idea is, common. Yeah. right, the, right. the issue is how do you eliminate this? That's the only way to determine if your gluten sensitivity is real, and that's what the beauty of this plan is. Yeah, everybody, the new concept we introduce in, in the book is gluten aware. Not everybody has to be gluten free. All Americans, they have their own level of gluten sensitivity, and our gluten solution plan teaches them to find their own level of sensitivity. And we've got some recipes, but first of all, the South Beach diet, as I understand it, the first part of it has always been gluten free, right? Yes, yes. And there's no carbs. Yeah, you know, we, I, I didn't know anything about gluten when we wrote the book. And we found, you know, patients lost weight, they improved their blood chemistries, That's we, that we expected. But we didn't expect that they would cure psoriasis and fibromyalgia and all these other diseases. I eventually realized that was the gluten part, and that's, that's why we got into this. All right, we've got a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The breakfast pancakes I didn't expect to see on a gluten-free diet. Tell us why these ones are okay. These are, this has swapped out the wheat protein. So you think pancakes with gluten-free? Absolutely true. There are many flours that are rich in protein and fiber, but no wheat, no gluten. And here's one example. Do you want to taste it? Sure. Gosh, eating, that's no problem. It's a problem. Okay, I'll and tell so you. But you, know, you do not have to give up whole grains. In fact, there's no risk with hmm. becoming gluten-free or gluten-aware. You get plenty of fiber. You get all the nutrients. And our goal has always been to make a diet a lifestyle. All and right, from pancakes to, to pizza for lunch. Okay, black bean flour. So, again... And one thing to remember with gluten-free doesn't mean calorie-free. And so if you want to lose weight with this plan, you're still going to have to moderate your portions. You're not going to be able to have food flopping off the plate. And that's important. Uh, so the book has both of those things in mind. Not only is it gluten-free, but it's also it's, healthy. It's the, the traditional principle of South Beach haven't changed. But gluten, you know, over the last 20 years, we prepare, we process food differently. We're, we're abusing non-steroidal uh, medications, antibiotics, 
I'm also of course, gluten overload. And we just have a few seconds, so I want to oh. make sure we get to our dinner, which is spaghetti, but not quite spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. Well, spaghetti squash, which is a vegetable, naturally gluten-free, but you can actually even use rice pasta. There are many things that are just substitute for wheat. You can have this and even dessert. So the thing with dessert and having treats is that there's no deprivation. So with a plan like this, you can be gluten-free or low gluten, and then you can add things back. All right. I like I like to start with dessert if you like to yeah. taste that. Uh, you know what? I'm a doctor. Since it's doctor's orders, I will. Dr. Arthur Atkinson, Madeline Frenchman, thank you so much.